Vaughn is the newest in a long line of people to fall for Robin's tricks, and Sarah couldn't feel more on her own in Shortland Street. Look, I need someone to do something for me. I tried to save him. He needs to know that I didn't mean to hurt him. Well, no, you pushed him out of the way. It's not your fault. Don't. I have waited and waited. Please just give me some time. Get out. Get out! I'd prefer it if Robin wasn't allocated as Andrew's nurse. You can't stop me from seeing Andrew, you know. The hell I can't. Don't you worry. I'm not going to let Sarah hurt you again. I'll keep her away from you, I promise. Left some today. Yeah. Hey, um, Leo rang last night. Oh, okay. What for? Just to say that he's still really excited about being our donor daddy. All oh, right. You're not having second thoughts about Leo again? No. What's worrying you? Just the hundred million things that can go wrong with the pregnancy. Mm. Think about what Tony's just been through. Yeah, I know. But, you know, there's a whole planet full of women who have had healthy, uncomplicated births. It's got to be worth the risk. How do we cope my if something did go wrong? I don't know. I don't want to find out. Approximate waiting time on the toast is six minutes. I'm not hungry. You look tired. I didn't sleep particularly well. Have you and Norman still have made up? Morning, all. Uh, that answered that question. Hey, that toast belongs to anybody? That's mine. And you're not getting a crumb of anything in this kitchen until you promise to make up with Lee. Mm. Here, here. And here. Did she put you up to this? No. You guys are making our lives miserable and we've had enough, so just stop it. What have I done wrong? Oh. Nothing. Uh, you did stay out the other night? Yeah, again, that was pushing it. What are you guys, my relationship monitors? No, we're your flatmates, man. It's like living in the middle of a war zone around here. Yeah, man, and we're all sick of it. Smile. I told you not to touch that. You could be going over Hugo's stuff. Just relax. I'll delete everything. Keep giving me those evil looks and uh, you'll probably break the lens. Oh, haha, uh, very original. Funky. Hey, pretend to be one of those TV presenters. You know, on those garden shows. Turn that stupid thing off! Eddie, stop it! <laughs> Leave me alone, you okay? Hi. Small adjustment to today's list. What is it? I didn't have time for Mrs. Jeffress's derivation. You didn't have time? There was a hold-up with Carter's ganglion removal. He presented with hypertension preoperatively. I had to deal with that. You need to manage your schedule better. It was an unforeseen complication. There's unforeseen complications are the norm in this job. If you fall behind, you work harder, you make the time up. That's what you're expected to do. Instead, you put the whole unit behind, put more pressure on everyone. I've rescheduled patients before. I didn't think it was an issue. Except we're trying to increase patient throughput, which is why I gave you the extra responsibility. But if the workload the is work too much... The work is fine. Things with Norman are kind of taking their toll. We we'll have our personal problems at home, Lee May. Either commit to the job or take leave. I can't deal with half measures. I've got a meeting to get to. I expect you to work through that theatre list. We'll be discussing unpaid leave while I bring in someone who can meet the quota. How was he? Sarah gave me a fright. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb him. Get her away. Keep her away! Andrew, it's me. It's Sarah. There's nothing to be scared of. Keep her away! Get out! Sweetheart, please don't do this. Get out! 
Get out of here! Andrew, it's Judy. Now stop all this. Stop all this. Clara, get out! How long's he been going on like this? Since I arrived, I thought... Get her out of here! Whatever's chartered. Get her out of here! Andrew, everything's all right. Get her out! Sarah is leaving now. I'm sorry. I just have to give him a little more time. Okay. Settle down. Breathing. Breathe. That's good. I'm used to Andrew now. I know all his funny little moods. Not sure I can get used to Chris Warner barking at everybody. Mum, you might just have to. You sound just like your sister. Get used to what she says, as if I have a choice. And then she keeps going on and on about having blasted babies. Honestly, she knows how much it upsets me. Yeah, well, Maya always does exactly what Maya wants to do. Stuff the rest of the family. Don't say stuff, darling. That's not nice. Yvonne. Since you're going back to your desk, can you take these with you? Oh, sorry, I'm in the middle of my break. I just can't believe that she's going through with it. It's so selfish. selfish. Yes, Mum, I know. You've told me three times already. Yvonne, you might be on your break, but Tanya isn't. Right. I need a cup of tea anyway. Judy, I can take those just as soon as I've finished here. No, no, I don't. Did you want something? I noticed your motorbike isn't parked in the usual spot this morning. Is that a problem? No, um, just an observation. You usually park it next to the ramp to the west entrance. Uh, that's because there's a street light there, but we don't have designated car parks. No, that's true, you don't. That guy is creepy. Yeah, Dad used to take videos of me and Jake all the time when we were little. Yeah? You should show me one day. <laughs> Doubt it. Jake would kill me. He hates them. I won't tell him. Yeah, I wonder how he is. What, Jake? Yeah, he's been gone for four days now and we haven't heard a thing. It's because he's with his girlfriend, stupid. Like, the last thing he's going to do is ring his little sister. Yeah, I think you're almost there. And action. You want something to drink? What are you doing? It's Tony. Yeah, I don't want a memory stuff. What are you doing? Put it away. Being filmed by Hugo? Put it down. Yeah, you look very good. So, gardening's going well then. <laughs> 